Hi there! Welcome to the Dutch RC channel and in this movie I'll guide you through the setup of a KK2 board like this. Uh, now as you can see this is a hard case version and there are, as you probably know there are also uh, versions without the hard case that have the screen um, mounted on the flight controller. The setup of those is 100% uh, identical. However, uh, the only real change of course is the case itself and that the uh, wires go into the side of this board. Um, okay, uh, let me first tell you uh, how to uh, connect everything. As you can see mine is already connected and on the left side of your board do make sure that you're uh, you have the right orientation. This is the front over here of my board and at the left side uh, are all the inputs. So all the wires running uh, from your receiver. And um, let me tell you what signal goes into what channel. Uh, the first one, the, the top one, is for your aileron channel. The second one here is for your elevator, the third one is for your throttle, the fourth one is for your rudder and the fifth one is an auxiliary channel. With that auxiliary channel you can uh, switch back and forth between acro mode and uh, stabilized mode. And all signal wires, the lightest one of the wires is on the top. And if you don't have the, uh, the hard case version, those uh, signal wires, the, the lightest one, will be uh, on the side of your display, so on the inside of the board. Okay, like I said, this is a quadcopter uh, setup I have here, so I have four outputs over here. And those uh, obviously go to the ESCs and the first one here is the uh, only one that uh, has a uh, uh, plus and minus input. So if you're running a BSC uh, make sure to have the plus and minus of the BSC on this first channel. And well uh, of course the second one is channel 2 of uh, ESC 2, 3 and 4. Now the first one is your top left, the second one is your top right, uh, the third one is your uh, bottom right and the fourth one is your bottom left. So it's a clockwise configuration. Now um, that's the physical setup and now I'll switch everything on and I'll guide you through the actual uh, set up procedure for this board. Hold on. Okay, as you can see, my <coughs> flight controller is switched on now and it uh, says safe. Um, one thing of note, I have the default uh, fir firmware, the KK2.1 firmware installed at it uh, at the moment. Uh, so no change whatsoever on that. Um, I am aware of uh, alternate firmwares and uh, from what I've heard and read they are uh, better. But uh, <clears throat> as a guide through this, uh, this uh, flight controller I'm using the default. So the, uh, the software that you're going to receive uh, on your flight controller. Um, okay, so it's uh, booted up. And uh, it says uh, self level, uh, blah, 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 okay, battery, uh, okay, do. And then I'll go into the menu with the uh, right button over here. Well, there you can see my menu. And I'm sorry about the motors beeping. <laughs> I hope it won't distract you too much. Now, the first thing I want to do is do the receiver test, the second option. So I'll go into that and as you can see uh, you uh, have five numbers and some 
uh, indications on your screen now. Now, the first four numbers, uh, you want to uh, make sure to have it at approximately zero. And you can do that with the trims of your uh, uh, transmitter. So I'm going to into trims now. And the first one is aileron, and I'm going to trim that to the left a little until the aileron at the screen says zero. There. That's a zero. Next one, elevator. Yep. Also to the left. How's that? Yeah, that's hovering around zero. And my throttle is already at zero, as you can see. My rudder as well. And my auxiliary is at uh, 100 now, because uh, my three position switch is uh, at the top position. I'm going to set it at the center position, and it's around zero as well. Okay, and uh, as you can see here, the throttle is at idle. It is. If I run it up full, there, it's at full as well now. And if I put the auxiliary, my uh, fifth channel, to the bottom position, it says nothing. Yeah, ah, now it's, uh, the auxiliary is off. So that, that position will... Uh, switch my uh, stabilizer off. I'll put it back to max. There we go. Okay, once you've uh, made sure all the center positions are correct, then you go uh, into the outmost positions of every channel. I'm going to input uh, aileron left full and that should read a hundred. Now it's a uh, hundred and two at this moment. So, I'm going to set the end point of my aileron left to uh, less than max. There, and we'll try it again. Uh, that's a little too much. Left, full, yeah. As you can see, now it's at uh, 100 to the left. Okay, we'll try right, and that's over 100 as well. So we'll set the end point of that channel as well and okay, a little more. There, that's correct. Okay, next thing, elevator. Okay, no, that's too much as well. Sorry about the beeps again. Okay, a little more. Okay, 100 and the other side. Okay, that's a little too less. There we go, 100 as well. Okay, let's see the throttle, that's 100. Okay, do and rudder left. Ah, that's a hundred, rather right, that's a hundred as well. So, okay, um, that concludes uh, this step. Okay, now we're going to do the motor layout setup. So you uh, press back, left bottom, and then you scroll down to load motor layout now uh, as i said i have an uh, an uh, quadcopter with the motors at the corners so we'll look up that setup quadcopter plus mode no that's with your motors at uh, the front uh, end and left right side and this is the x mode so we'll choose that. I'm going to choose cancel at this point because I already have it set up but you should of course choose yes at this point. 
Okie do. And back. And after that, you want to show your motor layout. So we'll go into that. Now this is probably a bit hard to read, but it says uh, that the left top motor is number one and it spins clockwise. The top right motor is number two and it spins counterclockwise. The bottom right motor will be your channel three, motor three, and it will spin clockwise. And the left bottom motor will be your channel four, the fourth motor, and it will turn counterclockwise. Now these motor uh, directions will also be shown if you press next. As you see now it only shows motor one, the top left, and it says C way C W uh, clockwise. Yes, and if you press next, you'll go to the next, the second motor counterclockwise, fourth, uh, the third, sorry, the clockwise, and the fourth counterclockwise. And the sixth one is is unused. Blah blah blah. Okay, we'll go back. Okay, um, now would be a good moment to um, mount everything on your frame. So uh, when once we are going to uh, calibrate the sensors, the, the, the board will be on a nice level surface. Okay, and once you've done, done that uh, and you've booted up again, we'll go into the menu again. And we'll search for the ACC calibration. We'll press enter. Please uh, place the aircraft on a level surface, blah, blah, blah. Okay, then you press the right button again for to continue. And after a few seconds, it'll tell you that everything is okay, if everything is okay. Um, if something isn't okay, you probably have a faulty board. Okay, calibration succeeded, thank you very much. Continue and you're back in the menu. Now, uh, the option above that is the sensor test. Uh, you can enter that and uh, move your uh, quadcopter around, tilt it, and you will see that uh, the gyros on every axis will respond with a uh, increase or decrease of that specific number. Okay, that's, that's a good, uh, good thing to do, to see uh, if everything is uh, lined up uh, correctly. Okay, now, um, apart from what I've told you now, um, you can uh, do a lot of setup, of course, in uh, the PI settings to make your board uh, more aggressive or uh, easier to fly or uh, maybe uh, it's uh, correcting too slow, too fast. Uh, at this moment I won't go into that because the default settings are uh, reasonable for a lot of frames. And um, I'm going to uh, go into the, the real trimming of those PI settings in a future video. So if you're interested in that, please uh, subscribe and you won't uh, miss that part of the configuration. Okay, uh, for now, uh, thank you very much for watching, of course. Hope it was uh, helpful for you. And if you have any questions, uh, Post them up below and I'll uh, answer them uh, as soon as I can. Thank you very much. Bye bye.